Yo, yo, Joe with Joe's Golden Garage. Y'all, I'm a sucker for Mitsubishi. I like them. I'm sorry. I know they're, you know, not reviewed well by the auto journalists, and they're kind of cheap on the inside, which I can see all that. But I grew up with an 83 Mitsubishi Starion that my dad drove. My parents bought one brand new in 83. And that was one of the best cars they ever owned. They had the very first Mitsubishi delivered to our hometown. Um, people were just mesmerized by it. A red, had a turbo decal down the side. It was awesome. But I've always liked Mitsubishi since. My wife had an 05 Montero Limited, the big, big Montero. We adored that truck. It was great. And when I got around to selling it, I actually sold it to a guy that shipped it to Africa. Um, so, I mean, now I know a lot of the new stuff they got is kind of lame. Um, but I have started to get to where I like the Mirage. I understand its purpose. Therefore, I like it. This is a 2020 Outlander. The old body style. And this is an SEL trim. It has leather seats, um, power tailgate, uh, heated seats, which mine's on. Um, you know, it's got automatic climate control. Um, you know, it's got, you know, your multimedia, you know, screen and all that good stuff. Uh, that, you know, it's a decent size for what it is. I mean, this was a value oriented SUV and back before COVID you could get deep discounts off these new I mean big time like you can get one with leather and all this shit on it three rows of seating um, for probably close to 20 grand maybe 21 or so because they discounted them so much now right now you can't buy them for that but you could then um this one has 59,000 miles, so a little bit high for uh, a 2020, I guess you could say. Um, but still, she's new. She's like new. Where'd she come from? Okay, she's been traded in at a Chevrolet dealership up in Middle Tennessee. Um, is this an all-wheel drive one? I don't believe it is don't see the little switch for it because the all-wheel drive ones actually you can lock them into low baby and I mean this thing drives perfect it's quiet it's smooth it's got cold air it rides good I mean sure you know, is all these pieces in here pleasing to the eye? You know, maybe not really. There's a lot of piano black going on here and down here. Um, you know, is it the most aesthetically pleasing vehicle out there? No, it looks kind of like a jelly bean on the outside. But for what it is, it's not too damn bad. Let's see if it's got any grunt. This is the four-cylinder. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm spinning the front tires off. Now, yeah, we're not going to win any races. But there's plenty of get up and go there. Plenty of get up and go. She was actually getting ready to really start accelerating. It looked like it was doing a little faults. Uh, you know, one of the little pretend upshifts that they do. And it acted like it was going to run on away. But yeah, this thing's just spinning the wheels right off the bat. Very light throttle. Very light. Yeah, and I mean, you can be at 60 just like that. So, this is a pretty decent unit. Um, you know, it's got heated seats, leather, push-button start, good-looking in infotainment dual zone climate control, three rows of seats. You know, I, this would be a car I would consider owning. I 
because I've considered only one in the past. It has lane keep assist, um, Ford collision alert. I mean, it's got some. It's got some options. Now, is it the sexiest looking thing? God no. But the purpose, man, the purpose. It serves the purpose. Kind of like the Mitsubishi Mirage serves its purpose. You know? Got a third row hiding back there. This is meant to haul your family in relatively comfort. It does have a power tailgate, I think. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that third row is tiny. So, you know, it's for the kiddos. <laughs> But, hey man, this thing's nice. I'd drive one of these. Yeah. And I mean, with 60,000 miles, this thing still feels like, I mean, it's so screwed together. No rattles, no shimmy shakes, weird shit going on. I mean, it drives good. Let's hit the puddle. I mean, she's a doll, baby. Anyway. Throw your uh, like, comment, subscribe down at the bottom. I appreciate y'all. And we'll see y'all with the next one. Peace.